When I go to shop for my toy cars, you know, I wander around other parts of the store as well. I've seen these Playmobil products at Toys R Us here in the USA, but I haven't had a chance to check them out. When a marketer contacted me for a Playmobil and said, hey, would you like to check them out? I said, you know what? I surely would. I'm not familiar with the products. It looks like such a big thing. And then the box is this big. I don't, I don't think it's ready made to go because look, it says 77 pieces. By the way, it has small parts. It's not for children under three years old. On the back, you can see some of the small parts. Look, you got these here, all these parts here. You got some uh, cones. Looks like we're gonna have a figure. And uh, I love, I love fire trucks. And it looks like this is a working ladder. As a matter of fact, I know it's a working ladder. Look, you can see right on the package. You can see right there, has an extending ladder. Goes up and down and extends out. Oh, and it spins around too. Very cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. It says right here to cut this right here. But uh, let's see if I can get it to pop open. Yep. We get to check it out for the first time uh, together here. Let's see, what do we got? If I have 77 pieces, I might put some of it together by myself so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Oh, it's mostly put together already. Just got some little odds and ends. Oh yeah, let's get going. For the lights and sounds, you will need a couple AAA batteries. Let's go ahead and get those put in. Yeah, kids love the lights and sounds. They love to play with them. Let's check them out. Uh, hey, there's the lights. Ooh, nice blue. There you go, there's your siren. Check it out, there's a switch under here. Flip the switch. Yeah, that's for like, uh, that's over there for Europe or the UK, I believe. Very cool. This sound, you know, if you're in the USA, you already know this siren sound. As you can see, the truck's already printed with some designs. But look, they have this sticker sheet. That's because there's different emergency codes for different countries. Here in the USA, 911 is like for emergency. And it looks like it's also for Canada. But other countries use different codes. So this is, this is a nice touch for you to be able to customize it for your country's different emergency codes. Now, you see we have to put the wheels on. And also, it doesn't have the base. Here's the base. The base is designed like this with a little cavity. That's because they also have an RC unit. We don't have that today. But you make this. You can make this a remote control unit. Here's the four pieces of the tires. Check it out. Rubber tires. Very cool. Definitely, you know, a step above some of the stuff you see in the stores. Actually, a big step above. Very, very nice. Push them through. You might need to get a little help with this. It might be, it's definitely going to be a little bit hard for a uh, five-year-old. But you get the tires, you just put them up around the ridge. I'm trying to be careful on camera. There you go. Now there's that part. Check it out. You even get a little hubcap. Pop it in. Wow. Makes it look like just like the uh, just like on the box. See, here's a picture of it on the box. Makes it look just like that. And we're going to attach it to the base there with this piece here. Pops right in. And there is the wheel piece assembly. I already have three of my wheels in place. Here's the fourth one. You can see it has this little uh, clicky tab right here. That's going to go upright. I'm going to put it upwards, put it in a hole. And then this way that little tab is going to click. There it is. So now we're locked into position. We're going to take this. You have a little post right here. And back here you have the hole. So let's put the hole on the post. Get this on the inside. The front has a hole as well. And it should click. Oh, my front clicked. Let's get the back one in first. There we go. Now we got the wheels on. By the way, since this one doesn't have the remote control, I can freewheel it. Well, once you put the remote control in there, yeah, you're supposed to use the remote control. You don't want to do this when you have the RC unit. I put on a couple of stickers. Remember, orange goes on the outside because those are your turn signals. You want those on the outside and white on the middle, on the inside. And then now let's put on the rear license plate. I already put on the license plate in the front. I'll turn it around in just a second so you can see that one. And I think this... 
This must tow other Playmobil things, because look, it's got like a little tow hitch. Let's pop it in right there. I put 911, 911 for the USA. That's our emergency. I'm going to leave this one because it's kind of neat to have a different one. Here you can see I attached one of the side view mirrors. Here is the license plate that I put on the front. Let's go ahead and attach the side view mirror for this side. Listen. Pop. Very good quality. They had a sticker for the GPS. See it? I put it right there. And here in the back, in the middle there. Look, you even get a little fire extinguisher. Pop it right on. Oh, we want the handle to go this way, right? Because if you can, if it's an emergency, you want to grab it. I want the handle on this side. We have a couple of blue pieces to install on the front. I already popped that red piece into the bottom of the seat. So we'll put that right there. I already put the handle on the other side, but this is how it pops in. And you have the roof piece. For safety reasons, the hose is made out of these small sections, and then you connect them together to make this really long hose. You have these connectors. Pop it in. Found the red spindle. This goes in here. I'm going to pop this on the other side. I'm not sure if I'm doing this properly. I have the red one connected on one side and then all the white connectors. And then I'm going to save one of the white connectors for the end. Let's see, we're going to push this through. I'm going to put this through here because we want this to not fall out. So let me get that piece. I'm going to push it across. Try to get it to come out. And then I'm going to put this on this end to make sure that it doesn't get pulled back out the other side because it's uh, bigger than the hole. So now when you unwind this, this stays like that. I'm going to pop this on here. Now I can wind it up. And this will be for the fire hose. This piece right here says Playmobil on it. I thought it was a part to the truck. But actually, it might, it's a tool to insert these into parts so that you can snap things together. It's a little tool. That's pretty cool. It definitely makes it helpful. And then I can put this piece right here. I snapped on the control panel for the person who's going to operate the ladder for, from the ladder truck. Let's go ahead and get this fan put together. You have a fan, a fan blade. And then here you're going to see that one of the one of these are slightly wider than the rest. You want that one to go in the spot on the bottom where it has the wide notch. Like that. And this is going to go on this side here. It's either going to go this way. Yep, there you go. Well, it's going to be that way or the other way. Let's see if it fits on the other side. Yeah, you could put it that way too. This way might be better because actually you're gonna walk up and take it off if you're gonna go use it. You need the handle on this side. But maybe you like how it looks this way. And I'm sure you've seen the three safety cones. You got a space to put them right here. You have a pickaxe and a holder. The holder's gonna go right there. And the pickaxe blade is going to actually go right there. So I think I want to put this one in first. I should have put this in first before the cones because now my cones are in the way. And then you're going to have the pickaxe go in the hole. And now it's secure for transport. Now let's put the bucket together. Here we have a control panel for the uh, fireman who's going to be, or fire person who's going to be up in the bucket. Got nice pieces that snap together, like uh, I've been showing you. Everything snaps together very nicely. Put this in. And 
Yeah, very nice. I noticed a few stickers that I needed to put on. I don't know if I missed them in the instructions, or they just figure, hey, you know where to put them. Look at the box. He needs one for his control panel. There's that. And on the other side, we have a spot right here. Hazardous equipment. These two parts look like they're for the remote control version, but I have the regular version, so we'll put the shovel right here. Your ladder truck has four stabilizer legs. I already put in one, two, three, and here's number four. We have these little notches. They're gonna go in those two notches you see here. Slide them right in. And then when your vehicle is getting ready to raise the ladder, you're gonna extend these out I'm showing you now sideways because it's easier to understand. Not only that, when you extend these out, you pull these and then this will be on the ground. But you see how it goes back in? So you're going to want to pull these out and twist them. There you go. And look, it doesn't go back in. And then when you're ready, pop it back in and you're off on your way. Your Playmobil action figure comes with some accessories. Here I have already put on his safety gloves. Here he has another axe for breaking down doors to get to the fire. He has a walkie-talkie. And here's another safety glove. Here's another spot here for more accessories. I assume it'll be this here. Yeah. I don't know what this is. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what this is for, though. Here's a, a safety vest. Pop this on. And I assembled this helmet. I already put on that clear plastic piece. There you go. There he is, ready to come to the rescue. Check out how nicely he fits in the seat. And look how his hands grip the controls. They're just perfect. They just snapped right into place very easily. Let's go ahead and get him in the bucket so you can see how well he grabs these. Here you have that part there. Oh, yeah. Now let's get his feet down on the ground. Now all he needs is a fire hose. Now I know what this is. Now you can play or pretend and have this here as your nozzle as you are fighting the fire. Or you can take this off and then you can hook it to that hose that's down there. Let's get the hose. Bring it up. Unwind. Put this on. You can fight the fire this way. Now your ladder goes up, down, and it rotates all the way around. Do you hear that clicking? Nice. It locks into whatever position you want to hold it in. You want to go around? You go around. But remember, when this goes sideways, it could make a, your truck a little bit unbalanced. Let's see. Look at it tip over when you lean on this. Watch how it tips over. Yeah, that's why it has stabilizer legs. Remember I told you about those stabilizer legs underneath? Oops, too far. Oh, that's right. Got to turn the legs. Remember that? Let's get to the other side. Now let's check how it doesn't tip over. There you go. Let's see. Let's try it this time. Come up. Now we're going to put some lean on. Ready? Oh, look. The ladder goes down. It doesn't even tip over first. Nice. How high does it go in the air? It goes about 24 inches. We're going to lift this up. We want to keep him level, right? You don't want him falling out. Keep this level. There you go. Now, let's turn it. 24 inches. It goes two feet up into the air. Look at him go. He's going to be able to fight fires in the high-rise buildings. There you go. 24 inches into the air. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah. I get to check this one out too soon. There you go. 
It looks like it's $55 at Toys R Us. Such a quality product, you know, with all the toys that are out there. This is one that the child's going to enjoy playing with for a long time. It's got a lot of features, and you know how they like lights and sounds, right? They'll be, they'll be pushing these buttons, having a blast. I really like how it has the, the multiple countries with that switch, too. If I could find it. I like that one because it's different. Thank you for watching my race cruise review of this Playmobil toy. Bye bye.